you need something, let's build it. So I covered all of the inside of the daggerboard case and mirrored drive trunk with epoxy and I added thickened epoxy on the top of the daggerboard case to put the uh, end capping on top of it. Quick side note though, um, in the instructions they always say that, like you should not coat the top surface with epoxy if there's going to be something else glued on top of it and then they say that you should use thickened epoxy to glue other wood on top of it. The experience I made with this is that the epoxy soaks out of the thickened epoxy. So you basically the, the um, wet epoxy goes into the wood and it only leaves like the, the filler between the two pieces of plywood. So I would always recommend to coat wood with epoxy before you apply thickened epoxy to it. You have to sand it afterwards because epoxy won't stick to unsanded epoxy but I think it's just safer to coat it, sand it and then glue something on top of it instead of just immediately going to glue it with uh, thickened epoxy because I made bad experience with it. But this looks nice so far so now I'm going to add the top. So the daggerboard case topping is glued in. I sanded everything around. I cut fiberglass strips. So I'm going to fill in these gaps around the outside and add one layer of epoxy to the top. Sand it and then I'm ready to install the deck stiffness and then to vanish the entire boat. I use these little blocks here just to help me to clamp it down because underneath there's nothing where the clamp could grab on. Same thing in the front here. I needed to use longer pieces of wood, but this should be nice and tight now.
dusty. So, there we go. I just sanded everything again. Everything is smooth, round and good. So it's finally time to mix the vanish. So I use two component clear coat and I'm just going to cover the entire boat in two coats. So the entire inside um, as well as the deck on the side and then I can attach the deck to the top of the boat. The paint is dried, everything looks nice, it's just nice and shiny. There are a few little bits that I will have to sand and do again, but I will do this once the deck is on top of the boat, because if I rip into the boat I can just clean this away in one go. But how I put the deck onto the boat you will see in the next video, so I thank you for watching. Up here is the card for the other videos if you haven't seen them already and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. See you!